What's up, everybody? Just needed to come on here and make a quick video. I saw this guy's video. I, I subbed him about a day or two ago, and uh, I saw his videos. He's he's pretty much a down to earth trash talker. He's one of you know I, I haven't seen a lot of his hate week videos. I'm not gonna lie, but um, he's an Alabama fed fan, Texas Tide, and he made, just made a video talking about how Oregon fans were chanting "We want Bama" during the Tennessee game, and he commented that you know don't get too ahead of yourselves. Basically, you know, do you really want to mess with the Kings right now? And I, you're going to be surprised, but I actually agree with you on this. I was talking to my buddy today, and ever since we beat SC, uh, Tennessee and SEC opponent, uh, the, what would you call it, the dumber fans, the not-so-football-smart um, fans, just see that logo SEC and think we can contend with any SEC team out there, which I think we still can. It's just... They think that we could go in there and beat any SEC team 59-14, to 14, which I know is not the case. They don't look at the fact that Tennessee was implementing a new offense, switching over to the new defense and new coaching staff and all that stuff. They don't look at all that. They just see an SEC logo and, you know, get all excited, which I'm not going to lie. It feels good to get a, another win over an SEC team. We're now 2-2 two and two against SEC teams. Um, so, I, you know, I both of them being Tennessee... I don't, you know, I'm not going to sit here and discredit that win. It was a, it was a good win to get. But to sit there and chant we want Bama in the third week of the season after there's still 10 games left to be played, including the Pac-12 championship game, it's not smart to do that. It's really not. It's it's getting the carpet before the horse. Oregon's mantra has always been win the day. Go out, have a great practice, and the bye week is our next goal. Have a great bye week practice, then have a great practice and get ready for Cal start conference play that's that's all i'm focused on right now i'm not focused on bama yes it's exciting to look ahead and that can be fun and that can get you amped up but i'm not going to do that right now i've done that in the past i came out last year and said i wanted bama and uh, stanford happened so I, i'm not going to do that this year i'm not going to talk about games that are happening in january when it's august i'll talk about games that are happening in january uh in either late December or January, whenever those games are scheduled. So, to that, I, I actually do agree with you, Texas Tide, that people here, and especially here in Oregon, need to, you know, calm down and just focus on the task at hand, and that's getting better each day. But you're right, it would be a hell of a hate week if that game happens, and I'll come after every single one of you Tide boys out there. Uh, the only Oregon fan on here in the trash talking circle. A few other guys will make uh, blog videos and such and such, but they'll stay away from the trash talk. Uh, we do have a few typers I've seen on here, but uh, everybody has a lot of typers. Uh, so to that credit, you know, I, I I certainly wouldn't mind being the team that knocks you guys off the pedestal. And I'm not saying you guys haven't earned it, but uh, I would be I would love to end the SEC streak and end your streak and keep you from repeating. But that's about all I'm going to talk about this game, and I'm not going to talk about this game anymore because I've said what I had to say, and I almost made a video about it earlier in the day, but now that I uh, see other people talking about it, I think it deserves this video, and uh, it's meaningless to me. It's trivial because we might just not play Bama, you know? So as always, go Ducks, and thanks for the shout-out, Texas Tide. Thanks for the kind words, and uh, you're right. It, it will be fun going at you if that game happens, but... We'll see you in January. Go Ducks.